Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video in which I will show you how to clone yourself in Adobe Photoshop. Now I recently uploaded this photo online and started posting it on Twitter and Facebook and stuff and people were asking me how I did it. And I started replying to them in text form saying, hey, all you need to do is, you know, add a mask to each layer. And, you know, people didn't, I don't know, I, I guess a visual aid would be uh, more helpful. So this is what this video is here for. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I did it really quick. So I'm going to provide you with this folder here which contains six different photos, me in each seat, um, and if you notice the camera is kept very still. Uh, the few things that you'll need is one of course Photoshop, two you'll need a camera, and three you'll need a tripod or something to keep the camera from moving. The less the camera moves the better. So let's go ahead and dive into Adobe Photoshop and I'll start dragging each of these photos in. So make sure you open up Photoshop. Don't don't go to File, New, because we're going to actually just drop in these photos like that. So drop in your first photo, drop in your second photo, uh, drop in your third. Make sure you press Enter after you drop each one in. Okay, I'm just going to drop them all in here. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Let's go ahead and double click our background layer and then click OK to unlock it. Okay, so all I have to do is what I usually do is go and make all these layers not visible, okay? Disable their visibility. See the second layer? Enable it, okay? Disable the first one, and you can see which photo is under the first one. Okay, I can see I'm right here. So what I'm going to do is add a mask to the first layer by clicking this button, and get our brush out, and get the black color, and start painting over here. Okay, and you can see I just kind of show up. Now if you want to do a really good job, you can see over here I'm like deleting myself, I'm erasing myself. If you want to go in Alt and scroll in, press X to swap it to the white color, okay? And then you know, if you want to go make your brush smaller and go and, you know, have everything come back and do all that tedious work. I'm not going to do that though for demonstration purposes. But, you know, you can go switch between white and black to bring things and to erase things and bring things back. Alright, so I have two of me in here. Now what I'm going to do is dis disable the second one, enable the third one, disable the first one, and now I can see that's where my next image is. So I'm going to enable my first one, go back to my mask, make sure this is selected, oops, and go back to the black color, and just start coloring over here. Okay, so now, there we go. Now enable the second layer, add a mask to that layer, and color over here. Let's start brushing in over here. And there we go. Now there's three of me. All right, so now I like to disable all of them. Look at the fourth one. That's where I am on the fourth image. So I know I can enable my first one, go back to my mask, and start coloring over here. It's just rinse and repeat, really. Okay. So I mean, it's, if anything, cloning, you get good practice uh, with the masks. Enable the second layer. Also clone over here. Okay, just like that. Enable the third layer. Apply a mask. Just like that. Okay, so now there's four of me. That's very simple. I'm gonna stop here for demonstration purposes. Just you know, I see the cards are still there. I think I need to go, yeah, to that layer and fill in there. But there you go. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. You can continue the rest on your own. But uh, it's very simple. All you're doing is applying masks to each layer. And I hope you learned something today. If not, then, well, good for you. You're good at Photoshop. So what I like to do when I'm finished is go ahead, select my first layer, make sure everything is finalized, things line up, colors don't aren't funky like right here. It's kind of more yellow than over here. But uh, select the first layer, hold Shift, click the last layer, right-click Merge Layers. And then, you know, go to image adjustments, levels, and fix some colors if I need to. Or image adjustments, curves. Play with the curves a bit. Oops. Okay. Click OK. And then File, Save As, and then as a JPEG, my desktop, as Clone. Okay. And then here's my image on my desktop. Here's my cloned image. So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to uh, cloning. It's very simple. It's uh, a very tedious and rinse and repeat project or 
little exercise you can do. So thank you for watching this video. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And remember to check out the links in the description, especially if you want to practice with my images. Uh, the link to download this will be in the description. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Bye.